I've always been about like helping people, so I had a problem personally, right? Like I, I had an issue where I couldn't, I got divorced and I couldn't get a date for two years. And then I figured that out, and then very quickly other people started coming to me for help. And first I was helping them for free, and then I quit my job and I started doing this, and that was about seven years ago. So I've been a full-time romantic instructor for seven years. A couple of years ago, we started thinking like, well, what if we started teaching romantic rescue type stuff to women? Like, you know, um, and how would that work out? And at first, everybody on our end, we were very, well, we weren't sure it was gonna work because the natural convention between me and you, like guy talking to guy, it's like, well, if a girl's pretty, she doesn't have any issues, right? No issues at all. Like she, if, all she has to do is talk to a dude and it'll be fine, right? She'll have like 30 boyfriends if she wants. And that couldn't be further from the actual truth. Like if you talk to most beautiful women, they, they'll meet one or two cool guys every six months. And so when I first learned this, I was like, really? Wow, that's, that's really rare. So I immediately went to, so I started teaching them what I teach men, except I reversed it, right? Um, and very quickly women got results very, very fast to the point where they, instead of meeting one or two guys every six months, they're meeting one or two guys every two days. So now they have choice. Now they can you know, pick the right guy, whatever kind of relationships they want. And uh, so it was sort of a, you know, a transformational journey for us because we didn't know that we'd be that successful. You, you see me fix specific issues, like a woman will have, uh, you know, the next episode, for example, is a woman that's really tall and guys are always like intimidated by her height. Right? And so we're doing all these things to address that specific issue. Mm -hmm. right? So she'll start a conversation with like, hey, my eyes are up here because every guy that's talking to her is like looking at her chest level. <laughs> right? mm -hmm. And she'll be like, don't hate me because I'm short. Which is hilarious because she's like 6'3". You know, we're looking for girls that have, when women that have specific types of issues. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, because we kind of have a plan of what the episodes are about and then we cast that. Um, but all the issues are absolutely real. Like in the, all the interactions and all the, the the meetups that you see, that's all real. There's no, there's no acting at all. Top tip for a guy is to not be logical. Because most men, like when a woman starts talking to you, about like, hey, what do you do? You'd be like, oh, okay, I work at New Media Rockstars, right? Mm -hmm. But a better answer for you is a woman asks, what do you do? You'd be like, do you know what the internet is? And then she'd be like, of course I know what the, and now you're creating a playful vibe, right? And then at the end of that story, you can end up with like, well, I work for a, for a website. And we need to do all these cool news stories about guys that, teach women how to meet other guys, right? So it just that little change makes everything different. So like one of the things I do with guys is I teach you how to communicate for hours at a time in sound bites. So everything's really interesting. You know how women are really into texting, right? Because it's all sound bites and it's like continues to capture the attention. You can actually do that with your verbals, right? You can just go on for hours like that without even changing, without changing who you are. It's like you're just changing the way you talk. And all of a sudden you go from being like, kind of boring guy to be a super cool guy. For women, the biggest problem women have is keeping guys interesting to them. I didn't mean speak, literally, it's they want to keep you interesting to them. Because what usually happens when a woman talks to a guy is within five minutes she decides she's bored and walks away and it's like, oh, I gotta go to the bathroom or I gotta talk to my friends or I gotta get on my phone. So what I teach for women is something called ghost leading where I teach them to prompt men secretly to act in a way that's attractive to them. Like they basically communicate to you subtly in a way that they want that same communication reflected back. And what happens is they, uh, you know, most guys still fail that test. Like, if, you know, on the, on the girls game, like 80% of the sets we see are just like dudes kind of messing up and the girl's like, I'm bored, I'm bored, I'm bored. And then she just walks away. But 20% but of the time, like the guy will suddenly get it. Like a guy that has no game, doesn't really have an idea, maybe he's young, maybe super logical, very little experience, but all of a sudden his inner charm starts to come out just because of what she was doing. But he thinks it was all his idea, but she secretly knows it was hers. So that's really cool.